These are the five rules of the Feldenkrais Method with Bonnie Kassane, whether you take a class or an individual session or an individual lesson. The first is that the movements want to be light and easy. So if I'm moving you or if you're moving yourself, you want to think what is light and easy. This would not be light and easy. Okay, that would be mm, hard. <laughs> and that would be 100% of effort. Whereas light and easy means at least 80, maybe 60, maybe 40, maybe 20, maybe 10, maybe 0%. And you just visualize it. That's light and easy. Number two is that the movements want to be, you want to move and breathe at the same time. You don't want to hold your breath when you're moving. That is an indication that you're using more effort than you need to. So how can you notice when you hold your breath? Notice when you use 100% effort and back off and start to say, oh, that's a pattern. Can I pause? And can I do this in a different way? The third rule is reversibility. And that would be the fact that, okay, if I move forward, I want to be able to move back just as easily. That's reversible. But if I go like way down, to come back up would be more effort than the other than going. So that's not reversibility. Reversibility is meaning I can go, I can come back, I can go this way, I can come back. So if I go all the way over, I'd fall. And then I couldn't come back. So that is the third. So the first is light and easy. The second is remove and breathe at the same time. The third is reversibility. And the fourth, we sort of hit on that, was variation. So when you're doing a movement and you notice tightness or 100% or you stop breathing, you pause because that's your default. That's your pattern. And what we're looking for is how to notice the pattern, say that's a strategy, that's one strategy. But how could I do it differently with more lightness and more ease and be able to breathe and move at the same time? So for instance, if I just raise my arm, okay, just boom, okay, you can do that. You can just reach with the arm. Or you could start to think, oh, maybe I can get support from my skeleton and start to think, how can I distribute the effort so that my arm could be even lighter and easier? because it gets the support and the distribution of effort. And then we start to say, oh, that's a new possibility. And then it goes into the brain and the brain starts to make a dance between old pattern, new possibility. And then we find another new possibility and another new possibility. And then that's when we start to be able to move out of the pattern. It's not like we break the pattern. It's like we have the pattern. It's a strategy. It's one strategy. And then we start to show our nervous system, our whole self, that there's another possibility. And that's when the magic happens. All of a sudden, at the unconscious level, you start to do things differently. So the fifth is that our spine is getting longer. That means our spine, the space between each of our vertebrae, gets longer with every movement. Now, that's a big, a big concept. <laughs> How does that happen? When you're lying on your back and your arm is just kind of moving around in a very light, easy way, your brain is getting light and easy, light and easy. And then all parts of the unconscious holding patterns or of the muscles in your spine are starting to let go unbeknownst to you. So that when you're doing this, your spine is actually getting longer as well. And you're breathing and moving at the same time. It's light and easy. You found many a variation or two or three. And those are the five rules of when you come and do a class or that's what I use when I work with you. 
or when we work individually over Zoom, that is also the five rules that we're always applying when we do Feldenkrais awareness through moving classes or functional integration sessions or Zoom sessions. 